Anthony here with Eyes on the Game here at the Box Fan Expo with the man of the hour, the great Mr. Errol Spence Jr. First off, very long line. So many fans just came out here to see you. How does that make you feel? It feels good. It shows that my hard work pays off and uh, it shows that, you know, I'm a true ambassador of the sport and people like me. And um, so much going on for you, coming off a nice victory over Mikey Garcia, fighting Sean Porter over the summer, right? Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna happen. I'm um, fighting Sean Porter, maybe summertime or August or September. So you know, I'm very excited for that fight. I'm excited to get the WBC belt and uh, add it to my collection. Now, was that who you were targeting next? Um, yes. Uh, you know, like I got in the ring when he fought uh, Danny Garcia, and that's the guy I wanted to fight because. Not just because I want to fight Sean Porter, he has something that I want, the WBC belt, and uh, I'm going to get it. Now, what about Terrence Crawford? Um, I saw you guys in a video together kind of trading back and forth. What was that all about? Um, you know, we two competitors, and um, that's the fight that I would like to make, too. And I think it's going to happen, especially, you know, when I get the belts, and then I call him over, and then we'll fight. So that's a fight that's definitely going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. It's not going to be next. I'm fighting Sean Porter next, but, you know, it's definitely going to be negotiations after that. What about after Sean Porter? Oh, it could definitely happen. I mean, like I said, it got to go to negotiations and uh, Bob talked to Al and, uh, you know, hopefully they can make something happen. Now, how did those conversations go? Because I know that Bob Arum said 50-50 split, but you said you weren't that happy with it. What would make you happy? Um, you know, I think, you know, I should it should be 60-40, you know. But, um, you know, we'll see. I mean, I let, you know, Al Hamer do my business and, uh, do the negotiations, he know what I deserve and what I should be getting. So Bob know what, what Terrence should be getting. So hopefully they'll talk and they'll come to a mutual agreement, just like when Pacquiao and Floor fought. Now, would you say, and let the fans so maybe 2019 or 2020? Um, maybe 19, oh no, maybe 20. I think it could happen in 20, definitely happen in 20. Yeah, and do you think that's only roadblock right now? Just, you know, the split or? What, what's on the roadblock? Um, between why you and Terrence have not fought yet? Um, I don't know why we ain't fought yet. I mean, I really don't know. <laughs> I mean, you got to ask Bob, you got to ask Al. You know, I, I don't know if, if Bob called him Wednesday, like he said he was going to do. I don't know anything, what happened with their discussion and things like that. I just know that um, I got a call to fight Sean Porter, so... You know, it is what it is. But you're pushing it hard, right, for the Terrence Crawford fight? Oh, yeah. I, I already told out, you know, and my people and my my people that I work with that that's a fight that I definitely want. And, uh, you know, I want to prove that I'm the best welterweight. And he does have one of the belts. And I want to be, be called undisputed welterweight champion of the world. So we definitely have to fight. And I definitely have to go get his belt. Ideally, where would you like that fight to take place? Oh, it don't matter. It doesn't matter at all. I don't care. And what advantages do you see that you have over Terrence? Everything. I'm just a better fighter here, period. What did you think about his win over Amir? Uh, it was expected. Um, you know, Terrence is a great fighter, so, um, you know, I expected him to knock out Amir Khan. 